Okay, my name's David Gelsthorpe and I'm curator of Earth Sciences here at the Manchester Museum. This fossil I've got here is a fossil called an ammonite. Uh, so this is what it would look like when somebody first found it on a beach or in a quarry. But very helpfully, somebody's uh, cut this one in half so you can see what it looked like inside. And, and what we've got inside is the first part where the animal would have lived, and it would have been a little bit like a squid with tentacles there. And behind these hollow chambers would either have been filled with water so it could sink in the water, or filled with air so it could rise up, just like a submarine. Um, but these chambers are actually really useful for telling stories about evolution and, and telling us about the animal when it was alive. Because where these chambers actually meet the shell wall, they have a very distinctive pattern. And this pattern changes over time. So for example, this small fossil that we've got just here, this is a really old one. This is about 350 million years old. And this has a really simple pattern on the surface, just a few curves and loops. As you go sort of slightly younger, uh, this is about sort of 250 million years, uh, the pattern becomes much more looped on the surface of the shell. And then eventually, when you get uh, to relatively young ammonites, this is about 200 million years ago, the pattern becomes incredibly complicated on the surface of the shell. So this is really good evidence for things evolving, and also it's really useful for telling the age of rocks, because the older rocks have ammonites with simple patterns, and the younger ones have ammonites with very complicated patterns.